federal emergency workers will be out today surveying the damage that comes from 10 tornadoes. FEMA is trying to determine what federal disaster aid is needed in North Texas. The tornadoes caused an estimated $2 billion worth of damage, which could make it the worst tornado outbreak in the history of the state. Now, as FEMA looks at the damage, North Texans are well underway in the cleanup process, and mental health experts stress the stuff that might be the most difficult to deal with is the mental toll these tornadoes can take. And speaking of that mental toll, Deborah, we're talking about children because they might be the ones who are taking this the hardest. For students, it's the change in their school, with some having to go to new buildings because their schools were damaged or even destroyed. This right here you're seeing is St. Mark's in Dallas. Homes look very different, too. Any adult could struggle to cope with that level of change. Counselor Lee Richardson, the founder and clinical director of the Brain Performance Center, is concerned about those coping with it all, especially children, because we grown-ups have more experience when it comes to adapting to new normals. But that's hard when you loved the old norm and when everything was working so well for you. That's really hard. Change is hard for people just on a very low level, but to change where you live, to change where you work, to change your daily life flow, it's really hard. And listen, Dr. Richardson is dealing with this personally as well. Her office building on Royal Lane, just off the Dallas North Tollway, was also destroyed in the tornadoes. Wow, Dallas schools damaged by the tornado will get a boost from the Cowboys and the Stars later today. The Dallas Cowboys will give lunch to staff members at four campuses, while star players will visit students from Cary Middle School. Meanwhile, Dallas ISD trustees met yesterday to move forward on repairs to so many buildings. And the Dallas ISD is dealing with a drop in attendance. The principal at Thomas Jefferson High School told our partners at the Dallas Morning News that around 200 students have been absent each day since the storm. You can find more information about the recovery from the tornadoes, as well as links on how you can help storm victims on our website. Search Tornado Relief on NBCDFW.com.